All we are is straws in the wind. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here again to help you with another instant challenge. Today we're going to do blowing in the wind. For this challenge, we have to build a structure that will move when the wind blows on it. To do that, we will use four straws, a plastic spoon, three paper clips, four mailing labels, three pipe cleaners, two rubber bands, and a piece of paper. At the end of the challenge, we'll turn on a fan to see how far it blows. Let's get started. Okay, first thing we need to do is build a craft. I'm going to use the straws and paper clips for this. You've seen some of my other videos, I showed you a little trick you can do with paper clips and straws to connect them. Take a paper clip and you're going to bend it just so that top, that middle piece comes up to a 90 degree angle, like so, okay? So we got one, let's do it again, and two. And when we do that, we can stick it into the straw, and we can stick another straw on top. make it like an angle. Now if you use smaller paper clips, you want to make sure you pull these things out a little bit because you want this to go in there pretty tight. You want that to hold on. See how it holds on nice and tight? These are bigger paper clips. If they're smaller ones, you could spread this out to make it tighter. Alright, so and if they're too big, you can squeeze them together. Alright, so there we go, we have two. This is the start of our craft. Need to connect these. I have one paper clip left. So I can, like so, push it into that one, push it into this one. Now I don't want a 90 degree angle, I want to make it a triangle. Look at that. There you go, the start of my craft. So that is my craft. I need a sail. Perfect sail. Put that right there. How are we going to attach it? With our mailing labels. I know in the past I have said that you don't need to use the whole mailing label. You can split them in half. We want these to be pretty secure, so I'm going to keep them connected. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep them as one piece. There we go. So I'm attaching that one there. I attach this next one here. I want them to hold on to the paper really well. This is my sail. I don't want anything happening to my sail. Try to keep your sail on your straws, like that. That's where it's going to be very important to tape this one. You want to tape it so that the paper is on the straw. If you have anything on the bottom, make sure you tuck it under. You don't want that sticking when we try to sail it. Okay. Same with the next one. Here to here. Tuck those under. All right, so now we got our sail pretty secure. So, do we think this would blow in the wind? Well, the problem is the wind would catch this, but it would tip. It won't go anywhere. We need some weight. We need some weight to keep this thing down. For that, I'm going to use the spoon. How am I going to connect the spoon? That's right, with these pipe cleaners. We've got one, so I'm going to go one, two, three. Three connections. So all I do, put it 
right in the middle, bend that over once, bend that over once. We want to make sure we can still wrap it around our straws. So we got to make sure we have enough left. So we go here, right to about the middle, twist it over once, twist this one over once. So we have that second one, and let's do our third one. Twist it over once. Nope, I didn't twist over. Twist it over once. Twist it over once. There we go. So now we have three. Three attached. Now we need to just to attach them to our straw. So you want to get them lined up pretty even. So we know about right there. Just you should have enough to twist it around one time on each end. Now remember, these can come in and out, so you have a little bit of of, of leeway. All right. There we go. Let's twist this one around. It's being a little stubborn. There we go. I'm sorry about the black on black. I got some uh, colored pipe cleaners coming in the mail. I just don't have them yet. Okay. Here we go. And let's get our third one on there. There, and like so. Okay. Well, get these things straightened up. Okay. So now, that spoon holds it down. So let's see how it works when we turn on the fan. Okay, let's see what happens when I turn on the fan. Nice! Let's see what happens if I take off the spoon. Take off the weight that I was talking about earlier. See how it fell without the weight of the spoon? Well, that's it for today's challenge. Hopefully you learned a tip or two. But remember, just because I did it this way doesn't mean you have to. The key is to use your creativity and your imagination to do things your way. In doing that, you'll be able to crash through all the challenges and obstacles that come at you in life. In the description below, you'll find the rules and details for this challenge in case you want to try it for yourself. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell down below so that you can be notified when the next challenge gets posted.